appreciate it, and I do. Well, welcome to the first Monday after daylight saving time. And speaking of saving time, that's just what we're doing this morning. From getting dinner on the table to looking good and helpful tips around the home, we're going to help you get more done in less time. And we begin this morning with the question many of us really dread. What's for dinner? So let's throw it to Amy, who's standing by in our break room. Hey, Amy. Hi, Kara. You're going to really love this segment because let's face it, as moms and alike, we want to get it right when it comes to preparing meals for our kids and our families. But sometimes we think we need to spend a lot of time to get it right. And we are going to break that myth right now. We have blogger Autumn Rosario with us. She said a complete gourmet meal, a healthy one too, can be made right in our microwave oven. I say blasphemy, Autumn, but you say not true. Absolutely. I, th I think it's, you know, what I like to write about is trying. Trying to find solutions for moms' everyday challenges. So certainly trying to get dinner on the table every day is probably one of my biggest challenges. Okay. And then most of all, trying to spend some time with your family in the process. I mean, you've got bath time, you've got practices, you have all these things. So Sometimes we, we think <laughs> if we use the microwave and we take those shortcuts, like I feel like I have to do everything from scratch. I have to chop everything. I have to make use of the oven. My microwave goes largely unused. Absolutely, because a lot of people think they have to do chicken nuggets and, and box meals yeah. and all these things that they really are not thinking that's healthy. Take a look at so. this. We're making chicken. We're making Absolutely. like this is real chicken in the microwave. How do we do this? Well, here's what we're going to do first. Actually, we've got just a chicken breast. What we've done is actually cut it in half and I've just pounded it. Got a little aggression out from a day. <laughs> pounded it down and all you're going to do is go ahead and take just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper and what I've done, depending on what your family's taste is. So if they like something spicy, put something spicy. I've got young kids, so I've kind of got to take it mildly. So I just put a little Italian dressing on, or Italian seasoning on there and then what we're going to do is actually add just a little bit of ham. This is the same old lunch meat stuff that you use you know, for the lunches every day. And then you're actually going to take our, we hear our you Swiss microwave. cheese. Yep. <laughs> it's always ringing, huh? It's kind of like mom's every day. So you're going to go ahead and just take that and you're going to Whoa. roll it up. So it's kind of nice and impressive. And here is our special little secret okay. of the day are these little steam bags. Okay. They make the world go round. I, I don't even know about these steam bags. I feel like I've never made vegetables in the microwave. I'm always hearing that you can't make them in there. They're not going to be as fresh Oh my gosh. These steam bags are incredible. You can find them in the grocery store. They're really easy. They've got some nice venting and everything in there. You're going to make sure you put the uh, fold up here on the thick side. Yep. Make sure you also get it all good and zipped and you'll okay. see it even tells you this side up. So we're going to go ahead and, and put this guy in there right. as well. And then here's our special after we've gotten this all. How long is this going to go in there for? Uh, you're going to put that in there for about five, five and a half minutes. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to the next piece. Do you want me to make this now for you? I'm going to be your lovely sous chef. Well, we can go ahead and put that one there. Absolutely. Okay. And you know what? The one thing you need to know is while we're also trying to, you know, micromanage things, we're trying to get all this multitasking, we're going to make sure that each of these bags goes in there separately. So I think that's really important thing. Okay. You can't just put those all in there to make sure everything gets even <laughs> cooking. It's not that convenient. It's not right. that convenient, but okay. you can still talk to your kids about their day. Um, and you they can help. Them. This is easy. Oh, this is so easy. Now, of course, we've got them all nice and measured out here, but I've got butter, brown sugar. All right. Um, we've got just a little bit of cornstarch here. And then these parsley is actually going to go in there after the fact. So we just put that okay. in there. You're going to sit here, have the kids shake it up. Love that. Yep. Make sure you put it in there again, this side up uh, flat and put it in the microwave. So cool. The next one's going to be the potatoes here. So the potatoes, again, oh, this really is my easy. favorite part because Autumn, you know how long potatoes take to cook. Absolutely. You can do baked potatoes in there. You can do so many things with these steam you bags. You can stick so that oil baked yeah. potato in there. Absolutely. And you can go ahead and just zip that up in a couple of minutes. So we put in there oil, paprika, a little bit of olive oil, a little more of that Italian seasoning we put on there, a little bit of pepper. Fold up again. The best part, my love. Because blood Shake. Shake it up. Put it in there, nice and even. Love and then it. here is the crazy one. I think most people are, are like, there's no way you can do that. This is actually going to be a cake in a mug. So okay. we're going to put flour, a, cake a little mug. bit of sugar. Got a little bit of this cocoa powder here. These are all things that you already have in your cabinet as well. Okay. Got your eggs. Oops. Got a little bit of skim milk here. So again, we're trying to put in a little bit of their nutrients. And then we've got a little salt and pepper and a little bit of baking powder in there. So you can go ahead, again, have the kids mix this all up. Because how often do you want to make a full cake? Never. I never want a full you cake don't around you the house. I just want a little bit of sweetie for the evening and that's it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pour that into our mug. And there's a little caramel. I've got to tell you so what this looks like. Let's get all out. these pieces out. This, this is crazy. <laughs> look at, and then she just took, look at this. She took one of these little caramel candies right here, bam, melted it on the top. It's a total cake in a mug. I don't even believe it. I'm going to try it for you guys, my lovely viewers, because Absolutely. I feel like you would expect me to do this for you. Oh, it's very hot, too. 
Yeah, it's very warm. Amazing. Amazing. And you can put whatever you want on there. Nutella, chocolate chips, powdered sugar, whatever your friend, you know, your family wants. You put this in there. We were actually going to put a little mustard sauce on there. If you know a little condiment, kids love, have to have ketchup in their meal. And you've got an entire complete meal. It's got, it's healthy, it's quick. You can You're spend time. You're blowing my mind, Autumn. It's really good. I waste so much time making vegetables and potatoes in the oven and, and the stove. This is crazy. Absolutely. You have, you have set me straight. And here's the good news. You can make this stuff at home because we have the recipes on our website, wfaa.com slash GMT. Carrie, you got to try this stuff. <laughs> this is crazy. It looks amazing. All right. Thanks so much, Amy. From